Hello folks, it's Friendly Neighborhood Dragon Overlord here. Welcome to my lair in the realm of Minion Masters, a unique take on card-based type online games. Uh, let's actually hop into a game here. We're going to do one here, and I can explain more in the game. We'll just do this one here. I've already beaten it, but we'll just go over it. Uh, in this game, while it is card-based, as you will see, it is also in early access, uh, and it is... A unique take on it. Instead of going card versus card, your minions do have a visual aspect to them. As you see, we do gain our energy, and we'll start with throwing out our little laser minions here. Uh, we do get points for crossing these. We gain experience, which will go up here. I'm on the left. Uh, enemies on the right. Our goal, of course, is to destroy the enemy tower, and we get different types of things. As you see, we have range minions. We have close range minions. Got this special little egg minion. Um, little swarm type enemy the egg of course explodes uh, you do go all the way up to 10 and of course the more it costs the better the creature is uh, you do have like area damage effects like this one here as you'll see throws a bunch of swords that damages a bunch of stuff just like any other game unless your ground forces have range are ranged they can't fight flying in the air so I need to throw my ranged ones up my uh, my ranged melee type creatures are my ranged ground type creatures to fight the flying creatures. Uh, you do have stronger creatures. Let me actually let this build up so I can get one to show you. These are the type of creatures that can only attack structures, like this guy I'm about to put up here. He can only attack structures. Uh, these guy, he uh, hatches from an egg, and then when he gets hit by an enemy, he explodes. And I got my flying guy. He also has a structure only type creature. This one's a lot slower. It's one of the basic ones you start off the game with. Uh, I just wasted that completely. As you see, as you level up, I got this first circle done. Now my guy, which is a Stormbringer, same type of character as this guy, uh, I can I gain global range. It means I can hit anywhere on the map. So I can just shoot the enemies wherever they are. Uh, and then when you get to the second set, you get aerodynamics, all ranged friendlies, gain marksmanship so they get plus two to their range. This is one of their bigger, stronger guys, so as you can see, he just demolishes my guys. Let me do that so I can get him to explode. Boom! And that guy just got blasted out of nowhere. I am not doing too wonderfully this match, but we will we'll succeed. Let's get that enemy gone. Actually gonna let it build up and I get my cleaver guy. As you, as you see, it says very high damage but very slow attack speed. Let's actually get him, throw him on there. He'll destroy some things. One hit, one kill. Oh, he just got blasted. Oh, that that was not okay at least, at all. Not at least, but at all. Let's get ourselves some overwhelming forces here so they can't really handle it. I'll throw that guy there. Low range. We'll drop that on there. We can hit the enemy with that as well, so to damage them a little bit, not much, but it's meant to kill the buildings. And we're gonna wait till we have four, because these guys are a bit stronger. And let's see, let's get through this match and let's win this real quick. All the forces out there. As you see, the deck just continuously goes. You don't just run out of cards or anything like that. Uh, and the different bosses have different, like your characters have different abilities. Like I said, I have the global range, and then I have the marksman, the aerodynamics, and lastly the lightning reflexes here. Let's drop that on them. Let's drop this guy here. As you see, I drop him on this side, so he's gonna go this way. If I would have dropped him up here, could have gone a different way. This circle around him shows their range, so that's where like they'll go after. It. They'll aggro on those guys. So I'm dropping them here, so they can aggro on those guys. Drop them there, and she blew it up. I should have done that. Drop them there, so we get them killed. Drop those there. Hopefully that'll do something good. There we go. I am not doing good at all this match here.
Uh, now I got my lightning reflexes. I gained double attack speed. So my character will attack twice as fast. Good of all of them. Boom. Follow them up with those. Follow them up with that. Bring out some of the bigger guns. As you see, I have a lot of two cast creatures. They're really fast to cast. They're just not very strong. Ah, let's actually throw these guys out there. You as well. You can hatch. We're gonna die. We'll drop that over there. You. Now I'm starting to get back there. Starting up. Stack my creatures, they just can't handle it, is what it is. Make sure I have both bridges. And lastly, um, mana frenzy. The XP will convert to mana so my character will have mana faster. You hard and what I've seen, you hardly ever get to this fourth one. Um, but that's actually one of the little matches and you do gain experience, but I've already beaten that one, so I didn't get any bonuses from it, because this is that was solo play, there is online play as well. Uh, but otherwise, you do have rubies. As you see, rubies are used to buy masters, to arenas, and power tokens. Uh, they are the shop currency, the paid currency. Then you have your shards. Shards can be used to craft specific cards. You get those from uh, turning cards and such into essence, as well as you know level up rewards. And you do have your gold. That's just an in-game currency. You do get a free daily token, as you see this one right here. And it'll award me something. Let's see what we get today. We got gold. And what we get? Uh, we got 125 gold, so not that wonderful. I have no more free tokens, so let's pop back. There is a shop. You see there's a power token for 1,000 gold, two power tokens for 160 rubies, or 10 for 725. We have 1,726. Let's buy a power token. Back, same spot for the power token. Click on that. Let's get it started. You can get masters and such from here. Let's see what we get today. And we got, that looks kind of interesting, it's a common spell, but it's Shock Rock. Drop a Stunning Stone on your enemies, which stuns and damages them. 40 damage, 3 area radius, and a duration of 2 seconds. It's not so bad. Take me to the candy shop. This would be the candy shop. Of course, I was just here. You can also get masters, such as Valkro, Mordor, Ravenger. He looks actually pretty wicked. Uh, yeah, I've used Ratbo. Ratbo is pretty insane. His builds up, especially if you start having those low cast ones, and it stacks. Like, so actually, see these abilities? You know, Scratch. Summon a Scratch every time Ratbo plays a minion card. Show off. Ratbo has global attack range when I have t ten or more friendly rain, uh, friendlies. And since he has his Gatling gun, he can actually shoot pretty fast. And then Scratch, Scratch. Some another Scratch every time you play a minion card. So if you get to that third one, you'll play two minion card or two Scratch every time you summon a minion. King Puff with a couple more things. Just a bunch of different masters and such with different abilities. I have not tried Setsu yet. But Setsu looks really awesome. As, as, Setsu is a badass ex soldier that never plays by the rules. She can enter the arena herself to annihilate enemies with superior firepower. Let's see. Uh, add the blast entry card to Setsu's deck. No, oh, that's when Setsu enters the battlefield and deals 50 damage and impact and has 3. And gaining a 300 health shield. Nice. Combat reload and high powered laser. Wow. Uh, that seems pretty wicked. And of course, you get different arenas the cemetery. Then you have the flying rat world, magma court, sunken temple, the dwarf world, snow wall, which actually looks really awesome, ancient ruins, and the abandoned scrat arena. So, I mean, all in all, it's a nice little game. It is still in early access. It's a really fun game to get. As you see, you can buy into it. That's one thing I don't really like about this, because it is an early access game, and but they do have a way to buy into it. And of course, the premium upgrade, upgrade, double gold XP boost, re rubies and shards. Uh, it seems like that could be potentially pay to win. It just depends on how they make it work and such. 
Uh, but for now, folks, this has been your friendly neighborhood Dragon Overlord here, showing you a brief sneak peek into Minion Masters. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like my videos or you dislike them, please like, dislike, and comment as you as you see fit. And if you want to keep up to date with what I put out, I will. I'm gonna try and start getting more things out regularly. I am about to upgrade my computer to a GTX 960, so that'll definitely allow me to do more things as well as have better graphics and other games that I have played uh, and just be an overall more uh, more enjoyable experience for both me and for everybody else but yeah if you do like to keep in, uh, up to date with what I have I will have my twitch as well as my tumblr and my uh, Instagram down below and as well as you can always subscribe and have a wonderful day